everyone. What a great day to, uh, to be here this afternoon. This is the 10th time in the last two years that we have been present for a groundbreaking for a school in Prince George's County. And certainly I tell you that is worth celebrating. Um, I wanna just honor everyone who was involved in today's effort. You are standing at the home of the soon to be brand new Suitland High School. And I don't know about you, but that is worthy of celebration. I was asking Dr. Golson exactly how long did it take for this to get here? Uh, because she's been involved for so long and it's been well over a decade in the making. So today is a big deal for all of us. I'd like to first begin by thanking Public Schools Capital Programs Director again, Sean Matlock for his leadership. And uh, he made it clear that he's a part of a partnership. So I want to thank his wife. We want to thank her, too, in her absence for helping him to make it through uh, this process. Also, to our super bad school CEO, Dr. Monica Golson, who's sitting here in the front. want to thank her as well for, uh, for being a wonderful partner in all of this. Um, again, I think it's worth saying, I'm just saying over and over again, 10 new schools broken ground on in two years. This is amazing. To our school board chair, Dr. Juanita Miller and board members, thank you so much. Uh, as well, our, in his absence, our county council chair, I don't think he's seen to be Hawkins, but we do have council member Rodney Streeter who is here, I wanna thank him so for, much for his amazing leadership. Um, as well, the Maryland State Senator the Senator Joanne C. Benson, thank you for being here, as well as Delegate Andrea Harrison, thank you so much. Uh, and I don't know whether the mayor is here, but Mayor Elsie Jacobs of the Suitland Action Team, is she present? Uh, I knew that she was planning to be, but I haven't seen her quite yet. Um, I'd like to also welcome Bill Spack of CGS Architects, Darian Grant of Turner Construction, I see Brunson Cooper, he's smiling today from Corinna Construction Group. He's been quite busy. I want to thank all of you as well for your leadership and for contributions to make today happen. Today begins for all of us a new start for a school that has a long, distinguished history in this county, preparing our students for the academic and social challenges of a global society. Suitland High School has produced some outstanding, talented young people throughout the years. And under the leadership, yes, that's worthy of applause. And under the leadership of Dr. Hollis and his team, their tradition of excellence continues today. We can see it in the example of young Kendall Ned, who is taking part in today's program. And you'll be able to hear a soon from her. This tradition of excellence is continued in the original building that was dedicated at Suitland High School's dedication way back in 1951. You heard it. This building has served its students well, but we've seen here and around the county that our students are striving towards excellence in spaces that have served our students capably, but certainly need to be upgraded and replace. And in addition to a long overdue modernizing of our county school buildings, we've seen future projections that say enrollment in our county schools will only increase in the years to come. Those students will also need an environment that will serve them capably in the years to come. Today has been made possible thanks to years of planning and preparation and forward looking people who saw a rising opportunity to make Prince George's County even stronger in the future. This groundbreaking is just another step in a years long multi-phase project. When it is completed, Suitland High School and Center for Visual and Performing Arts will have a learning environment worthy of their potential. We thank those visionaries for seizing this opportunity because this process is a necessary investment. Our young people are our future residents, our future workforce, and our future leaders. There is no successful vision of Prince George's County's tomorrow 
without a strong investment in our children today. So today we break ground on where the new Siouxland High School building will eventually stand. But what is evident today is the collective dedication to our county students. Today is a show of our commitment to our young people and to the future of our county's education system. If we want to prepare them for what tomorrow brings, then right now is the time for us to deliver for them. And I'm happy to see that we're doing just that. Thank you all again for your presence this afternoon.